Would the guests please stand for the arrival of the Sovereign Grand Commanders in official party? Illustrious sirs, most worshipful sirs and guests, welcome to this historic Statement of Unity signing ceremony. I am Illustrious Eric Corner here, Deputy for the Orient of the District of Columbia, Prince Hall Affiliation Southern Jurisdiction. Please remain standing for the invocation as delivered by Sovereign Grand Illustrious Lynn Proden, Sovereign Grand Inspector General for the Orient of the District of Columbia, Southern Jurisdiction. The late Archbishop Desmond Tutu, in a discussion about the importance of unity, drew upon a text called the Testament of Cardinal Mercy when he said, in order to unite with one another, we must love one another. In order to love one another, we must know one another. In order to know one another, we must go and meet one another. Profound words, let us pray. Dear God, Father of us all, we are grateful to you for bringing us together on this momentous occasion. We are thankful for the leadership of these jurisdictions and we ask that you continue to guide and inspire us as we labor together to build and strengthen our Scottish right. In those efforts, forgive us, dear God, for anything we have done amiss. May our work here today be not merely symbolic, but meaningful, and may genuine collaborative relationships continue to be forged along the way. Grant us an openness to one another, sincere understanding, serenity in our dialogue and in our listening. We know the purpose of this fraternity, and we know unity is needed for that purpose to be fulfilled. Let us work together with understanding and compassion. Should there be trial, may our unity not falter. Should there be success, May our joy be in the fact that we supported one another. Align our hearts and minds into a living community of brotherly love and affection. Let us be of one accord. Let us be the light that leads the world to you. This is our prayer. Amen. Please be seated. Brethren and guests, we are honored to have you present today. Each of you have taken time out of your busy lives and responsibilities to support this historic event. This is a landmark day in the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite. There will be time in the ceremony for you to come forward and take pictures. But until that time is announced, please remain at your place. Owing to the significance of this day, the event is being live streamed on the internet. Following the signing, please pay attention to my announcements so that we can prepare a photograph of all invited guests 
assembled on the grand staircase. In respect of your time, introductions will be limited. I will now announce, introduce the stage guests. As their name is called, they will rise and remain standing at their, at their seats. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Joseph Manning, Lieutenant Grand Commander for the Southern Jurisdiction. Sidney D. Broadnex, Jr., Lieutenant Grand Commander, Prince Hall Affiliation, Northern Jurisdiction. X.L. Butler, Grand Minister of State, Prince Hall Affiliation, Southern Jurisdiction. Daniel Fuertes, Grand Master of Washington, D.C. Edward M. Brooks, Secretary General for the Holy Empire, Prince Hall Affiliation, Northern Jurisdiction. Mark C. Raw, Grand Lieutenant Commander for the Northern Masonic Jurisdiction. Marlon Mills, Grand Master. Grand Treasurer General of the Holy Empire, Prince Hall Affiliation, Southern Jurisdiction. Richard W. Elliott, Grand Minister of State for the Northern Masonic Jurisdiction. Douglas R. Policastro, Grand Secretary General for the Northern Masonic Jurisdiction. Dr. L. Ken Collins, Grand Secretary General of the Holy Empire, Prince Hall Affiliation, Southern Jurisdiction. Daniel R. Poole, Grand Recording Secretary, Prince Hall Affiliation, Northern Jurisdiction. And seated in the audience is James W. Galladay, Most Worshipful Grand Master of Virginia. Please give them all a round of applause. <laughs> now, it is a special honor to introduce the Sovereign Grand Commanders who will each bring brief remarks. Please welcome Dr. Melvin J. Baysmore, 33rd degree, Sovereign Grand Commander, United Supreme Council, Prince Hall Affiliation, Northern Jurisdiction, United States of America Incorporated. To Sovereign Grand Commander James D. Cole, Corey D. Hawkins, Peter J. Simmett, other Masonic dignitaries, and all under the sound of my voice, good morning. Today, September the 7th, 2022, represents the culmination of the formation of the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite in Charleston, South Carolina in 1801, followed by the formation of the Supreme Council Northern Masonic Jurisdiction, followed by the formation of the United Supreme Council of the Ancient and Accepted Scottish Rite by the two Prince Hall affiliated Supreme Councils in the late 1800s. Following that, there was also a signing of a statement of recognition between the Northern Masonic Jurisdiction and Prince Hall Affiliated Northern Jurisdiction in January 23, 1995 by past Sovereign Grand Commander Samuel Brogdon, Jr. and past Sovereign Grand Commander Robert O. Ralston. After that, in 2013, past Sovereign Grand Commander Ronald A. Seale recognized the two Prince Hall Affiliated organizations that had comity with their respective Grand Lodges. While these events were important, I submit to you that today is an even more historic event. For today represents the first time that the four sovereign Grand Commanders will have their signatures affixed to a single document signifying the unity between our United Supreme Councils. Yes, the signing of this document by the Supreme Council of the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite, Prince Hall Affiliated, Southern Jurisdiction, the Sovereign Grand Commander Corey D. Hawkins, the Sovereign Grand Commander James D. Cole representing the Supreme Council of Southern Jurisdiction, Mother Council of the World, 
and sovereign grand commander Peter J. Simmons representing the Northern Masonic jurisdiction, I believe represents the true meaning of operating under the fatherhood of God in the brotherhood of men. I am extremely proud and honored to be a part of this historic event. And I pledge to you the fidelity of the United Supreme Council Northern Jurisdiction Prince Saul Affiliated to the tenets contained in this statement of unity. Lastly, I want to commend my fellow sovereign grand commanders for your vision in bringing this to pass. And a special thank you to Sovereign Grand Commander James D. Cole for all that you have done to pull this magnificent event together and to your staff who have done an outstanding job. May God continue to bless the ancient and accept the Scottish Rite, our four respective Supreme Councils, and may God continue to bless our great country. Thank you. Please welcome illustrious Peter J. Samet, 33rd degree, Sovereign Grand Commander, Supreme Council of the 33rd degree, ancient and accepted Scottish Rite, Northern Masonic Jurisdiction. Wow, that's a tough act to follow. I don't know if I can do it. God bless you, brother. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Uh, you know, actually, it's a great morning as we are gathered here to participate in this most significant and memorable signing ceremony. You know, our lives are full of ceremonies, aren't they? Some are personal, some professional, some fraternal. Within the whole, a few are of great significance. The ceremonies of marriage and graduation come to mind. Others are simple rites of passage that we go through, but others, such as this one we're witnessing here today, have no peer. This morning we provide living proof that diversity and harmony are not exclusive, but are conjoined by the brotherhood of man under the fatherhood of God. I'm proud and humbled to place my signature alongside uh, those of my esteemed colleagues, a token of remembrance that on this, the seventh day of September 2022, we stand unified, not only by the principles inculcated in this document, but in our mutual support of each other and of Scottish Rite Freemasonry as practiced within our jurisdictions. The four of us here today before you stand firmly united in the cause of unity, friendship, and brotherly love. We steadfastly agree that there is far more that unites us than divides us. And with this as our vision and guiding principle, we'll move forward unified in our belief and steadfast in our goals. And this statement of unity is, is merely a pronouncement of our beliefs, just words. And while words are from our lips, action is from our hearts. We have in the past and from this day forward will continue to demonstrate our beliefs by adhering to this doctrine and deeds and actions as Masonic leaders and brothers, as citizens of this great republic, and just as importantly, as friends, so mote it be. Please welcome illustrious Corey D. Hawkins, Sr., Esquire, 33rd degree, Sovereign Grand Commander of the United Supreme Council, 33rd degree, Prince Hall Affiliation, Southern Jurisdiction, of the United States of America. Good morning. Today's statement of unity signing is one that will be talked about for many years to come. It will be etched in the annals of Masonic history the four legitimate Supreme Councils within these United States 
are coming together on one accord in unison to declare our legitimacy and to also acknowledge each other's legitimacy. This is something that will outlive all of us. For years from now, Masonic scholars and students will refer back to this date to when these four Supreme Councils came together to acknowledge one another and to make the statement that beyond the four of us, there is no other. I am proud and honored to be a part of this ceremony, to represent the Prince Hall Southern Juris, jurisdiction during this ceremony. And I'm proud to be able to come together to literally make order out of chaos. Thank you, and may God bless you. Please welcome illustrious James D. Cole, 33rd degree, Sovereign Grand Commander, Supreme Council, 33rd degree, Southern Jurisdiction of the United States of America. Thank you and good morning and welcome to the House of the Temple. This temple is your home away from home anytime that you are in this area. You see before you the legitimate conservators of the ancient and accepted Scottish rites of Freemasonry for the United States of America, representing the four supreme councils under which all Scottish rite is operating. I see my friends, my brothers, my colleagues. I was asked the question, is this about recognition, Grand Commander? No. As you have already heard referenced, recognition occurred years ago. This is a step beyond. This is a step forward beyond recognition. This is more. Three months ago today, June 7, 2022, we convened the first meeting of the Grand Commanders of the Ancient and Accepted Scottish Rite of the United States of America in this building. At that time, we began the steps forward to go beyond recognition. As you came in today, you probably recognized someone across the room. We've all been there. You lean over and you say, now, what was his name? <laughs> recognition is the external unification in spirit, in effort, in work, in our strategy, in our goals, in our march forward, that is a step beyond. Our creator above watches us as we recognize one another, but as we reach out a hand of friendship, as we put our arm around shoulders, as we literally come together, he smiles. Today, we're creating a smile on the face of the Supreme Architect as he sees that as we began three months ago today, we are taking steps forward. This means that we share our ideas, our thoughts, our programs, our knowledge, we're offering to send speakers from each of our councils to the other councils to assist and aid one another. We're making plans together. Last evening, at a private dinner for the four of us, we began making plans for the next steps as well. This is only the first step in our journey. We will go forward 
seeking to help, aid, and assist one another, recognizing our independent councils and rejoicing in that independence, but also recognizing that these are our partners in this journey. And the journey for the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite is necessary so that we can continue to make changes in the world outside those doors. And as we band together as brothers and move forward, and as we place our signature now on these documents, our Supreme Architect will smile down on us and will say to us, well done my good and faithful servants. Amen. Let us now be about this historic business. <clears throat> we will now ask our stage guests to stand but remain at their seats. And for the final signature, we ask that our stage guests please step forward. Brethren and guests, the unity statement is signed under the seals of each of these four Supreme Councils. Please join me in celebrating this event. Please remain in your places. And